tasks piling up. I'm John from West Variety and this is what you should all speak first in your business. When you're looking at what to automate in your business, a good starting place is looking at your cash conversion cycle. How quick are you getting the new customers in? How quick are you doing the work for them? And how quick are you getting the money into your bank account? Can people pay you faster by you using direct debits? There's quite a few accountancy platforms that uh, let you send your invoices through to them and they can collect automatically and reconcile it for you. How much time could that save? And collecting data. Sometimes it's a struggle to remember of all the little, little bits that you need to make it all go together. So can you use forms to make that process easier? But then what are you doing with that data? Could you use something like Power Automate to take that form and put it straight into systems for you? We've got little processes that to do that in our business. We've got the form for when we're handling a new domain name registration and it goes and sets it all up in our system so that we can renew it on time and manage it. Another useful automation is keeping systems in sync because we have data stored in all different places and if we can get those all singing the same tune it makes our lives a lot easier. Think if you've got contacts in your CRM you want them in your work management software, you want the accountancy contacts in your accountancy package. These don't necessarily all happen automatically. You sometimes have to build an integration between them. And that's another thing that Power Automate can help with because if it's got an API and we can send the information into it, well, we can link those systems together. You could have a live calendar and populate appointments another little automation that saves going back and forth on email are you free on tuesday no i can't i got wednesday though no i've got golf on wednesday afternoon friday back and forth takes ages but if somebody can book straight onto your live calendar it saves all of that because you know when you're available they know when they're available and they can actually see your availability. You can also handle putting out any video notes or there's those custom boxes where you can actually collect information that you want for the appointment as well. So you're not always going in blind, which <laughs> saves you a lot of stress when, when you certainly have this call and you're not quite sure what it's about. So there's a couple of things you can look at starting to automate. Your cash conversion cycle, bit of contact syncing, systems talking to each other, or maybe just making your calendar bookable with a link. I'm John from Westway IT, and if you found this video useful, please do subscribe, and I'll see you next time.